Okay, I need your opinion on bag. Obviously a okay. crucial part of the look. Gorgeous. Okay. Gorgeous. Let's see another one. Also key ingredient. Sunglasses. Gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. Where's she going? Mmm. <gasps> <gasps> Love it. I remember one of my favorite Pride memories ever was the first time I did drag in public. I feel like my culture had always told me that I was not allowed to be gay. Everyone was around me and I was wearing this beautiful pink dress and my hair was blowing in the wind and I just had a moment where I was genuinely proud of myself for like not letting the bigotry in my culture make me hate myself. This is kind of my first year going to Pride as someone who's like, People know me as someone who's queer now. Yes. It's gonna feel really good this year going and just feeling like, okay, cool, you know? It's out there, I'm being my true self. I just think I might feel a little different, which is kind of nice. You know what I feel like we take for granted sometimes is how scary it is to show up as your authentic self. Mm -hmm. I think we here in Canada have so much privilege to be ourselves. It's something that I'm so grateful for, but even sometimes when I leave the house and I'm wearing something a little extra, like there was one time where I left the house in like hot pink nails and I got attacked on the street. We always have to realize that there's still so much work to do. Every single queer person has experienced some sort of hardship or even hatred and bigotry. We're just being ourselves, reminding our own business and people will still come and try to attack us or hurt us. Mm -hmm. And yet we always stand up again. We always show up again and we look this fabulous doing it. Come on, that is queer magic. Nobody else does that. My limo's here. <laughs> Red carpet ready. <laughs>